Hey guys, Ken with Provectus Group. Today, we are taking a look at the brand new Aimpoint Acro P2. Is it worth your 650 bucks? You may wanna stay tuned to the end because it's not looking so good. I honestly feel like it's not a good idea to purchase this. So this is the box that says Aimpoint on the outside. Let's open it up and this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see your Aimpoint Acro P2 in the box. Let's take it out, set it to the side. There's some styrofoam underneath it. Looks like your tool, so you can do your adjustments to your windage and elevation as well as tighten up the actual Aimpoint Acro P2. Looks like some warranty information uh, and your, also your compliance statement and your user manual. That's it. So this is the Aimpoint Acro P2, it's three and a half MOA. This is the new redesign. Uh, the first version had really, really bad battery life. The battery would only last you about two to three weeks. Um, they've done some changes on the outside as well uh, with your different buttons here to increase and decrease uh, the brightness level. Right here is your battery compartment, holds a 2032 battery. Um, and like I said, three and a half MOA seems to be very, very robust. Um, obviously with an enclosed emitter, um, it, it's very, very good because it keeps dirt, dust, water, all types of things from actually blocking that emitter. Uh, I've had this on my gun for quite a while now and been shooting it and testing it and all that. But here's the biggest thing about this um, that I do not like. One is the price. When you look at all the competitors out there, I mean, they're in the $400 range and below. And I'm talking about other competitors that offer enclosed emitters just like this one. Uh, and they're doing very, very well. This one is substantially more money. Uh, the other thing too, is that the optic body is super thick and it's super long. So what that does is it adds a tunneling effect and that's because the optic window is small and then the optic body surrounding the uh, window is very, very thick. So it's like the difference between looking uh, through a toilet paper roll versus a paper towel roll. When you're looking through the paper towel roll, uh, you're not gonna be able to see as much as when compared to the toilet paper roll. So this would be the paper towel roll. It's like looking down a tunnel. Um, and it blocks a considerable amount of the available target. What I mean by that is this, with this particular optic, I had it mounted to the firearm, I presented the pistol and put the dot right on the 10 ring, right on the 10 bullseye right dead center. You are able to move this red dot left to right up and down within the window, but you're obviously gonna reach the edge of the window. With this particular one, I was only able to move the dot maybe out to the nine ring, eight and a half to the nine ring before I ran out of optic window. With its other competitors, you know, I'm not gonna use their name, but I'll say Full Moon is the competitor. Um, I was able to move this dot and go all the way out to like the six and a half ring on my Mantis target before I ran out of optic window. That is a really, really big deal. I want an optic that's going to give me the widest available window so I can see the dots, it's gonna make it easier to acquire and keep it within the window. Um, I feel like, you know, obviously they made the optic body very robust so it can be strong, um, but I feel like you didn't have to make it this strong. Um, and plus there's already some P2s that have having some condensation issues on the inside and stuff like that. And when it comes to an enclosed emitter, that's detrimental. If you get um, condensation or something inside, you can't wipe it out. You got to send it back. So it's going to block your dot. So that's what I feel about the Aimpoint Acro P2. I honestly feel like it's not a good idea to purchase this. For the average person, you, there's no need to spend $600 or more on an enclosed emitter. There are a lot of options out there. And to be frank with you, the other manufacturers out there offer way more features. Um, the only exception uh, that I'll say to that is if you're an armed professional 
and the only approved enclosed emitter dot that you're able to purchase is the Aimpoint Acro P2, then absolutely go ahead and do it. No knock on Aimpoint, but they've got to step their game up with stuff like this, especially when you're talking about um, close to $700. You know, uh, most folks, they can't afford that. And to be honest with you, there's really no need to do that. Not in 2023. You've got other manufacturers that are really crushing the red dot game right now so that's all i got i hope you guys enjoyed it put your comments down below i, I really want to hear from you guys what do you think do you think this is worth 600 and some odd dollars and if you do does that mean you're still going to go out and purchase let me know below below we love you peace just wanted to thank you guys so much for tuning in for more content and shenanigans hit us up on facebook or instagram or on our website perfectusgroup.org and since i know you guys are so awesome Hit that damn subscribe and like button. Love you guys and see you next time.